Hello everyone, this is Pragya Pandey from Rao's Academy for Competitive Exams, Bhopal and this is a special series on daily news review. Before moving any further, do hit the like button and subscribe our channel so you don't miss any updates. Without wasting any time, let's see what is in the news. To address the persisting problem of destitution and beggary, the government of India launched a comprehensive scheme of Smile 75 that stands for Support for Marginalized Individual for Livelihood and Enterprise. Under the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, 75 identified municipal corporations in collaboration with NGOs and other stakeholders will undertake comprehensive rehabilitation of persons engaged in the act of begging. This particular scheme will focus extensively on rehabilitation, provision of medical facilities, counselling, awareness, education, skill development, economic linkage and convergence with the government welfare programs. Rear Admiral Guillermo Pablo Rios of Argentina is appointed as the head of mission and chief military observer for the United Nations Military Observer Group in India and Pakistan. Let's understand something about the UNMOGIP. It was established in January 1949 after the 1947 war in Kashmir. In January 1948, UNSC Resolution 39 established a three-member United Nations Commission for India and Pakistan to investigate and mediate the dispute, which was reconstituted as UNMOGIP in April 1948 by the Resolution 47. Let's understand its role. After the first Indo-Pak armed conflict that was in 1947-48, military representatives of Pakistan and India signed the Karachi Agreement under the supervision of the UNCIP, which established a ceasefire line in Kashmir. UNMOGIP has a six field station in Pakistan administrative Kashmir and four field station in Indian administered Kashmir to monitor ceasefire. Post-1971 Indo-Pak war, UNMOGIP has remained as the observer for the ceasefire of 17 December 1971 and report there on the United Nations Secretary General. Let's understand about the India's stand. New Delhi claims that the role of UNMOGIP ended with the conclusion Shimla Agreement of 1972, as the issue is now an internal matter to be resolved bilaterally. In 2014 and 17, India requested that UNMOGIP cease operations in Kashmir, whereas Pakistan, on the other hand, does not accept the Indian argument and continues to seek cooperation from the UNMOGIP. Ministry of Finance issued new order regarding Atal Pension Yojana that any citizen who is or has been an income taxpayer shall not be eligible to join Atal Pension Yojana. It is a flagship social security scheme of Government of India which was launched on 9th of May 2015 with the objective of creating a universal social security system for all Indians, especially the poor, the underprivileged and the workers in the unorganized sector. It has replaced the Swablambani scheme and any citizen of India India between the age group of 18 and 40 years was eligible to join the Atal Pension Yojana. Chhattisgarh government implements extension of panchayat right in scheduled area. This will protect the interest of tribal and enhance the power of Gram Sabha. 50% of the member of the Gram Sabha will be from the tribal community. They will also have the right to take decisions in development of villages and to settle mutual dispute. This will also ensure the rights to community forest resource in the Tiger Reserve. Let's understand something about the Panchayat Extension of the Scheduled Areas Act 1996. The PISA was enacted by the Parliament to extend Part 9 of the Constitution, with certain modification and exceptions to the fifth scheduled areas of 10 states. Those are as follows. Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Rajasthan and Telangana. In 1992-1993, the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act was passed to provide constitutional status to the Panchayati Raj institutions in India through the insertion of Part 9 that titled as the Panchayats, covering provision from Article 243 to 243O and new 11th schedule that comprising of 29 subjects falling within the jurisdiction of Panchayat. Whereas scheduled areas and tribal areas are exempted from the Part 9, therefore PISA was enacted. It aims to ensure self-governance through Gram Sabha for people living in scheduled areas. It also legally recognizes the right of tribal communities, resident of the scheduled areas, to govern themselves through the own system of self-government and also acknowledges their traditional right over natural resources. 
so this is it for today join our batches for upsc and ppsc civil services examination seats are very limited so hurry up thank you for watching this video and do not forget to hit like button and comment your valuable feedback also press the subscribe button to never miss any updates please follow us on instagram and facebook links are given below in the description box thank you